Hello, we are making a candle. Inflate a balloon leaving a 7 inch flat tail. I use a clear balloon so you can see better how it's done. Inflate a red 3 inch bubble with this long tail. Tie nozzles of both balloons together in one knot. The red bubble represents the flame and the clear balloon represents the candle itself. The technique described in these instructions uh, you can use to connect number of balloons in one line. With the first soft I have an inch bubble of the clear balloon. We are going to make the tulip twist. Make the red bubble soft. For the first bubble of the clear balloon, two inches inside of the balloon. It's easy to do it in steps. Put the bubble in with your left hand. Hold the bubble with your right while you pull the left finger out of the balloon. Repeat these steps as many times as you need to get the first bubble deep inside of the balloon. Then you twist the second, one inch bubble. Now the first bubble is locked inside of the balloon or inside of the third bubble that we're going to make. You have made the tulip twist. Twist the third, five inch bubble to make the body of the candle. You can finish the candle in different ways. Cut off the rest of the balloon and tie off the end. It's a long way. You can make another tulip twist and attach another balloon to make a line of balloons. Let's make uh, the tulip twist. We have to make a 3 inch flat tail right uh, after the third bubble. You can make uh, the tulip twist using even 1 inch flat tail. Cut off the rest of the balloon and tie off the end. Soften up the third bubble by forcing the air to the end of the balloon. To be the fourth, uh, have an inch bubble at the end of the balloon. For the fourth bubble, uh, two inches inside of the third bubble. The third bubble should be much firmer on the side where you're pushing the fourth bubble in. This is the fifth one inch bubble. Now the Fourth bubble is locked inside of the third bubble. We have made the body of the candle. It's time to light up the candle. Twist very soft one inch bubble of the red balloon. Cut off the rest of the red balloon and tie off the end. By the way, the tulip twist uh, has its name because uh, it uh, resembles the flower, the tulip. Congratulations, you have made the candle. Here's a candle I made using the white balloon. Here's the bottom. 